Well, it's uh, Sunday, the 22nd of September. I just finished supper, so <clears throat> just trying to, to uh, relax a bit. <clears throat> I'm going to show you where I'm at here. Uh, I made it a little over 14 miles. It was a tough day. Uh, peak elevation was about 8,200 feet, and I've come down a little bit since then. And I think I started at about 3,600 or 4,000. So, I <clears throat> uh, hadn't seen anybody since Friday until today. And fortunately, because uh, I, I was pointing out how that uh, Mission Creek was a real jumbled mess with all the rocks. Um, by the time I got to the top of, to Mission Creek Camp, there's a lot of fire damage too. Uh, I got kind of got lost again. <clears throat> But what had happened is the trail had been wiped out. So, fortunately, there was a hunter that was walking up this road. And he kind of pointed me in the right direction. He says, well, you can try and find the trail, but just take the road for like half a mile and then you're back on the trail. So I did that. It was a dirt road. And he was out, I think he was bear hunting. Um, and I told him I hadn't seen one yet, but um, he that's what he was after. So, I wanted to get to this place. I've seen it on videos before. It's um, it's a sand to snow monument and uh, what there what there is here is this cabin. I'm going to show you. Hopefully you can see. Coon Creek Cabin. <clears throat> the name is a bit puzzling to me because there's no creek around here anyway but <laughs> apparently you can reserve this, and you can, uh, for I think it's, it's the sign said 110 bucks a night for up to 25 people. So hopefully, it's going to be a bit dark here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see or not, but um, I'm going to show you what it's like. And I've seen this on, on other YouTube videos, and people have stayed here without making reservations, you know, if it's a rainy night or something. Uh, I'll show you in the window here. There's a fireplace. It's got brick flooring. I'm not sure how old this place is. Um, and anyway, all of the comments that I ever hear or read about it, it's kind of a creepy place. Plus, uh, I'm pretty sure it's infested with mice, so I'm not too, I'm not going to stay in there. I'll stay in my tent. So there's a few buildings here. And it, so it must have been um, <clears throat> a historic place, I, I guess. Uh, I'd have to do more research, I guess, when I get back and find out. Um, it's kind of interesting. And I like it. But there's something I dislike about this place, too. <clears throat> and it's not the place. It's the people. Because you can drive here. In fact, when I got here, there were two cars just leaving. And one lady saw me. And we waved at each other, and I was kind of hoping maybe she'd dip into her icebox and give me a pop or something. But I guess maybe she didn't have anything, or <laughs> maybe it never occurred to her. But there's uh, there's barbecues. I don't know if you can see that. So you can barbecue here. And to me, what's really a luxury is a picnic table. Several of them. And, boy, it's so nice to sit on a table when you're having something to eat. But here's what I dislike. They drive up here in a car and they can't take their crap with them. And you know, they, places like this need to be off limits to morons that do this. It's just so stupid. <clears throat> we know what's gonna happen there. The animals are gonna get at that. So, hey, <laughs> it's just the way it is. I have to pack everything I, I bring in, out and and these guys leave their stuff. But <clears throat> the one nice thing too, I guess, that, that I take advantage of is that there's a, uh, a toilet here. You can see that over there. Um, no running water though. So I, the water I have with me has to last the next 10 miles. So anyway, that's it for for Sunday. I had my little rant about the people that just don't get it. 
<clears throat> now I'm going to set up my tent and uh, get some rest again. It cools off pretty good, so uh, that sleeping bag I've got really helps. Um, it, it, I'm sure it's going to be cool tonight. It's cool already. So that's it for now. Oh well, I'll show you one more thing actually. There's some of the items on my out of my pack, including the spot that I have activated. So then, let's see if we can see it there, right there. Um, so that they know I'm okay. So there's a message sent and uh, she gets an email and it actually will GPS me and she can, she can view this spot right here. <clears throat> kind of, kind of handy and uh, makes everybody at home feel better. Okay, that's it for now.